This one's from the book. Section 8.5, it's a work problem. So we have a cylinder, right, cylinder tank. It's half full of water. And we have to find the work needed to pump all the water out of the top rim. Okay, so here is the the water here. here there's where it ends, the top. Uh, the you know half full, and the whole tank is uh, 20 feet tall, and it has a radius of six feet. So the volume of the water slab which is a cut down here, delta y at a y location, is pi r squared delta y cubic feet. So the weight of the water slab is 36 pi delta y cubic feet times 62.4 pounds per cubic foot. That's the weight of the water and you multiply some numbers together and you get and now uh, you get this number here and that's in pounds because the cubic feet cancel out so you're, you're always looking for that make sure the units are working out right cubic feet cancel out. So the work on the slab to raise it to the top is going to be the force times the distance. So the weight of it is this and you have to take that slab up 20 minus y feet. So that would be from here Twenty minus y feet. Okay, then, then the work to move all the water and those y values to um, to make up all the water are only going to go from zero to ten because that's where all the water is. And the tank is only half full. So here is your expression of your work. All those work pieces added up. And you got your integral. And it works out to this number in foot pounds 1,058,591. Now, interestingly, a related problem to that is on the next page. So what if the tank was on its side? So it's a different problem. It's the same tank but it's laying on its side. It's still halfway full as you can see and we draw our water slab but the water slab is not a little cylinder this time. It's a rectangular type of slab delta y thick we have to set up this relationship of y to the radius 6, figure out what this linked a is here. So you have the Pythagorean theorem. Here's your a solves for right here. a is equal to 36 minus y squared square root. Then it's double, a is doubled across there. So it has to go all the way across there. So it's 2a, not just a. And times the length is 20 times the delta y thickness, that's the volume. The weight is you take that number, multiply by the uh, density of water, and you get your Multiply those numbers together in there, 
and write them here. So this is your force expression times the distance. The, the distance that it has to move up is from here to out of the top. Like there's some kind of a hole there at the top. So it's 6 minus y. And you can check to see if that's working. When y is down here at negative 6, 6 minus negative 6 is 12, so it has to move 12 feet. So that's working. Then your work is that expression, the work of the slabs added up from y equals negative 6 to 0 because it's half full and those y values only go from negative 6 to 0 to, to uh, account for all the water that's there. So then you put that in and run the integral and you get this amount of foot pounds which is less than pumping out half the water if it was uh, vertical which is interesting. 